Hello you guys, <clears throat> this is Colatius and Latius, and for this video, I think this is a video that everybody should watch because this is like, how do I call it? I want to label it important, I guess you could say. Hold on, first of all. Okay, there we go. Oh. Alright, so right now it's like 8.25. I've been up since 5.30, like three hours ago, but I didn't get out of the bed until like... 7 30 because i was going through uh chapter 16 <laughs> because i finally got the drop i think required until i hit another dead end which is chapter 16 princess requirement i finally was able to craft that cloak great that's beautiful i like it so that's why it took about two hours well no i didn't take two hours well two hours but not just for chapter so i was doing something else too i guess looking through Facebook and all other things. Oh, and catching up on Donald Trump news because that's fun. Ugh. So, this is important. Okay, so before anybody says anything, this isn't our server just throwing events in the randomized in the middle of a hell event. This is standard for all expensive hell events that have their own special map. So as an example, the Wonderland thing, that's one of them. So like I said, this has nothing to do with their server. All expensive hell events have that. The only ones that don't have that are the cheap ones like Ghost Gathering, Bloody Moon, The Mermaid, The Evernight. They don't have that. They just have their own event. Except Evernight was a bit different in the beginning. So... I was right. This is a pick and choose event. I watched Irie's video. And the pony right there, the horse, is not a completion reward, which is great because I'm actually going to go for that. And for this one, I actually thought those were raccoons, but if somebody said they're pandas. Well, I, I don't know. So I definitely want to go for the raccoon, panda, maybe the hearse, the horse, and the eyes. I hope the free plays are enough to do so because if not i'll just not get the purse and get the raccoons pandas down there the eyes and the horse so uh, what's i want to say okay from irie's video event cost i believe is going to be like 1000 something no more than 1100 <laughs> to finish one outfit and i think to finish both will cost 2500 not bad i guess if you want to go for one but to be honest these outfits i don't they're just not my taste at all it's like oh no not taste i i like lilith but these just don't cut it out i just don't know so even if i wasn't participating in the hell event i definitely would have skipped this one too so here is the deal this event format is actually new but it's not though because if i'm not mistaken all hell events unless another server did what see i don't understand why the c server eliminated everything except the pavilion to wayflower sun moon because if they did that to our server with this event i would have been fucking mad because they got a completely new different with the chop it's look like of course they had to get a new different one because they eliminated the whole entire thing except the pavilion so all hell event or hell events that have a event in the middle of it all all i believe the same format it's actually old but it's new for us because we've never had an ev hell event that has its own special map like this so i think what i already said is is a bit different it's like you get to pick i think there's three outfits i believe you get to choose from and i think like the best or something something you can pick and you can win six currency if you get the best one i guess and third i'm sorry second five i guess standard and then below three i think so it's like it rotates you, you'll see what i mean when the event comes live tomorrow so yeah it's actually not a new event i think there is another one like i don't know for which hell event there's like i think she's sitting on top of a a dresser or something she's got green on her i think that's one of those and also for four gods i believe they have the snake one too so like i said the event i think all of them are standard same i'm not entirely sure the event format 
So here is the important part. The important part is, is in all honesty, guys, I highly recommend skipping this event for two purposes. Number one, and no, whoever wants to say they're going to still throw bullshit and run Bloody Moon for us in October, I'm like uh, almost 100% sure that's not going to happen. Only because I don't think any server has run two new I said new, hell events, together pretty much almost, right? So I don't think that's going to happen because another thing is, is they're going to have to reset the double diamonds again for a new hell event. And I don't think they're going to do that in two weeks. However, that doesn't apply to reoccurring hell events. They can throw whatever they want with that, like what the Japanese server did. They brought Evernight. That's a reoccurring one, not a new event. Hell, and then they brought Bloody Moon, which is, I believe, the first time they're getting it. Because they're setting the double diamonds and they're getting that airplane recharge, right? And Evernight, they didn't get a recharge or double diamonds reset. So I think reoccurring hell events, they do not reset the double diamonds. So that's why I'm like, I have a feeling, guys, Evernight might potentially come next. If not next, watch out because I think it might come before October ends. Or maybe the first week of November. And why do I say that? Because the event debuted on November 22nd. And they should appear every year. So that anniversary is almost coming for us. So I wouldn't be surprised if they do a Japanese thing. And they throw Evernight next. And you like my wallpaper? I went ham on Starry Corridor this morning. To the point, I actually found out you can only upload six images a day. I'm like, there is a limit to how much you can upload. I'm like, okay, never mind. <laughs> so, yes, I, this was the part that I was talking about. This one, usually, this one. Oh, wait, was it? Yeah, yeah. Usually, I would have the pieces ready, but because we had the Yokai event, I couldn't do any princess stages, so I had to wait. So, Evernight, like I said, the event for us came November 22nd. I have a feeling Evernight is going to come very soon, so be on the lookout. And even Nikki, who, are not, man, I only live like six to, I don't know, eight hours drive from New York City. Is they going to appear there? Fuck, why did they come to Virginia? But even if they did, I still wouldn't have the money to even go to the convention. It wouldn't make a difference. <laughs> and they actually, because some people are like, oh my god, are they teasing every night? But don't tease us like this. Because they actually used this exact image here for their announcement of New York Con. So, right there. And these are what the... Okay, this one here, I don't know why they've never returned because I can tell you right now, this outfit does not re-return with the hell of it. It only came with the debut. That means that Nikki still has to bring it to the fucking store because it cost money and princess only because it was a free outfit. So, I don't know. This, we already have. These came back because that has nothing to do with the actual hell of it, guys. And then... Here are the other outfits you can get. No? Phantom, 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 right? Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm grasping at straws here. Okay, here. So when I played the event last year, this one was that first outfit to drop, I think. So this is what you get. Actually, this outfit, I didn't care about it in the beginning. And it turns out it's actually a nice outfit. The second one to drop, and I think this is a more popular outfit, just the hair is not like that much, is this one here. Colorful Dreams. Because there's animation. She's the one that dropped the second. I'm just showing you what drops from Evernight if you actually want to participate in it. And then... This one dropped as a fourth. The fourth nod, starting from the fourth to the last, is when they drop the two backgrounds, guys. So, I don't remember which background dropped first. Dawn Twilight should go with her. There's a special pose. I like the special pose more. 
Lantern Girl. Yeah, I need to start sitting my ass down and read the stories. Oh, shit, I said Lantern. Ha, 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 ha. And here's her normal pose. Now my favorite, which is probably just about everybody's favorite, and this is animated too, is... Uh-oh. I want to quickly mention, though, since I highly doubt they're going to bring a new Hell event in just two weeks again, the time frame that I would watch out for is two different times, actually. One for two months, and one if they decide to bring one closer to three months like they did with this. So, new so the time frame I predict, guys, to watch out for a new Hell event coming is I'm going to take September the 25th and say either November 25th, which is two months, or closer to three months, which is December Christmas Day. So, do watch out for that, and I believe our next event is probably going to be Bloody Moon. I know they, they pulled the bullshit on us, but Bloody Moon is a cheap hell event. This one wasn't, and we still have two cheap hell events that we don't have yet, and that's one of them. And then, hypothetically, they could bring back Ghost Gathering, and then they could bring another expensive event to get to tide over the expensiveness of the, you know. So, that's also another thing if you don't care about Ever Night and you just want to say for Bloody Moon... Because if they pull a bullshit and they legitimately bring a new hell event, which I doubt it. No, I don't think that applies to new hell events. It applies to like new and then a reoccurring one. They could bring it next. I'm just showing you because like I said, even if they don't bring this next. Oh, thank you. Oh, Vivi. I was like, that's right. Yeah, I actually hit some bells on channels, so now I'm notified. And she has a special shadow, actually. This is my favorite. I love it so much. So, like I said, just be careful. Like I said, that's the time frame I would give out for starting to watch a new hell of it. In fact, I would start being careful when November hits, just, just in case. If not November, maybe the middle of November. Like I said, she's got a special shadow. And yeah, this background is definitely hers. Alright. So yeah, that's what you're looking at when Heaven Knight returns. I don't see it returning much later because the deadline for the first anniversary <laughs> is running out and i found out in the japanese or i found out i think the japanese server had their evernight debut in like the first week of november and they just got it last week so do watch out there's one more thing i want to show you so like i said as soon as you remove uh, yeah, so you can tell. I think you can add pieces, you just can't remove it. Or else the glowing effect is going to disappear. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, mm -hmm. So, like I said, just be careful. I'm just giving you an opinion. I highly recommend skipping it. Because you can get those two beautiful outfits done. And of course the one that probably everybody wants the most. This one. And also, it's a cheap hell event. So with the increase of the nods going up a little bit. It should still not cost more than 8000 to finish. Because I think when it came originally it cost 7200 So um, it's, you're not looking at more than 8000 I believe. In fact, I don't even think it's that much of a huge increase. I... I'm not entirely sure, but it should not be a lot. So, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And, hey, if you still want to participate in those two events, go ahead. I'm just telling you to be extra careful and because this event might actually be even coming next or very, very soon. Like, very soon. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you with one more video. Ooh, Mystery House. I know what it was for. Four seasons in all. Yay.